So now let's celebrate with some art. The art talks have been our most popular segment. I think even more popular than our opportunity spotlights with our very strong BD team. Can you believe that? <laughs> we started with the red splatter of Mark Rothko, who is my favorite artist. Now our talks have spanned many genres of art of, and eras. Now Sarah Kane has led us through an incredible and an eclectic group of artists these past 100 weeks. No one knew what we were doing when we started the town halls. We were just making it up as we went along based on your feedback. Sarah deserves our gratitude and respect. She volunteered and said, I'll give it a try. I've never done this before virtually, but it sounds like fun and will be an interesting way to keep all of us connected. So here is Sarah to help us celebrate the 100th town hall. Sarah, over to you. Hi, everyone. Thank you for that intro, AJ. Happy 100th town hall. Um, it's been a great journey. Um, as AJ mentioned, I don't have a background in art. And so when they asked me to do this, I was a little bit apprehensive in a way because I'm like, I don't know anything about art. Why would you ask me? And so, but I've learned so much along with, with everyone on this whole journey. So it's been a really big joy and something I really look forward to every week. So let's get started. We've got a PowerPoint um, celebrating celebration. Um, this wonderful um, image was made. This is a timeline of all of the art talks that I've talked about and that we've gone through over the, the last over two years almost, or about two years. Um, I'd love to hear what some of the favorites have been in the chat. If anyone would like to um, write in the chat as I give my presentation. Uh, some of my favorites, I think, have been Henri de Toulouse-Lautrec, who was, let's see, that was number 56 in 2021. Um, I mean, there's been so many. I enjoyed Klimt in 2020. I really enjoyed doing Disney last week. So those are a few of, of my favorites. So today we're focusing on celebration. Um, and it's important that you celebrate all of the milestones and major accomplishments. Celebrating really gives us a sense of achievement and it's a great way of rewarding ourselves for a job well done. Celebrations are reminders of what's really important. We celebrate events, people or achievements. And when we celebrate, we spend time with people we care about and spending time with them keeps the brain healthy. The main reason we celebrate is to honor an important detail in our life and share that special moment with the people that we love. Special occasions bring people together in unity, harmony, and peace. So celebrating with friends, colleagues, and our loved ones can make us forget the troubles and stress of life. So we're gonna look at some pieces that center around celebration. This piece is by Philadelphia-based artist, Charles Searles. In 1974, Searles was invited to paint a mural for the William J. Green Jr. Federal Building in his hometown. So celebration is a study for that mural um, and it fuses the energy of an American street festival with memories of Cyril's 1972 trip to Nigeria. The canvas is filled with syncopated color and echoing forms of circular drum heads and the waving arms of dancers. Uh, Cyril suggests the duality of the human psyche by dividing the figures vertically into light and dark sections. Uh, and at the bottom center, he included a child with a mask-like face and spiky hair in homage to his young daughter. So fireworks. The whole idea of fireworks is to celebrate a visual spectacle to honor or commemorate an occasion that is collectively meaningful to the viewers. So this piece is by British artist, Christopher Foss. And fireworks have traditionally celebrated a specific occasion on a specific date. So July 4th or New Year's Eve, and everyone gathers to watch, everyone oohs and ahs together. And um, everyone agrees that the spectacle has been enhanced, has enhanced what's already considered a significant moment in the lives of the people watching. Fireworks are meant to serve as ritualistic props and to enhance an already existent cultural bond. The applause is a form of celebration to thank or commemorate the completion of a job well done. And it can also represent agreement with something. This piece is by Peter Notrot, an artist from near Hamburg, Germany. 
And at first he painted photorealistic and surrealist uh, paintings, but over time he developed a real passion for abstract art. Uh, and this is now the main focus of his work. Um, he feels very at home working with abstract forms and using color and vitality in his work. And we can see here, uh, we can see that here with an explosion of celebratory colors and feelings that represent that same idea as the applause. Dance is a performing art form consisting of sequences of movement, either improvised or selected. And this movement has an aesthetic and often symbolic value. Dance is a great way to connect emotionally with an audience or the people you're dancing with. Uh, and with town hall number 100, we dance to celebrate. Mickey de Goodaboom is a French artist born in the Pyrenees. And her painting is a reflection of her life, a permanent oscillation between light and shadow, lines and shapes, times and places, always looking for that equilibrium, which she can only find in continuous movement in the mysterious and the unknown. It's a life divided between her two passions, painting and mathematics. Our diversity is what makes us unique. It gives us different viewpoints and ideas that make our communities grow for the better. Susan Brash is a Nebraska-based artist, and this piece is part of a series called Faces and Motifs. And that's exactly what we can see here. This is a pastel on tar paper, and she uses different shapes, symbols, and faces to celebrate the diversity and tolerance in the community. Laura Bundesen combines neuroscience with art. Uh, she stitches together cotton thread to create the terrain of the brain in both texture and color. She uses art to teach and excite people about the wonders of the brain and the science of the different parts and planes of the brain. The brain is the most complex organ in the human body and the one that we know the least about. Uh, and so Bundesen celebrates its complexity by creating these colorful and exciting pieces. Here's an artist we've highlighted in the past. If you remember, Jeff Koons did the balloon animal sculptures and here he celebrates the gift. Gifts are symbols of celebratory occasions whether it's birthdays or weddings or anything else, but they commemorate an event taking place. Uh, this piece is part of a series Coons did called Celebration that consists of 16 sculptures and 20 paintings, all that center around celebratory events or aspects. Uh, the gift isn't necessary for celebrations, but it leaves lasting memories to look back on fondly of the moment that you're celebrating. Personally, I love the celebration of the dinner from weeknight family dinners to graduation dinners to a blind date dinner. Humans come together through food. Uh, it's a universal language that we all speak, whether we know it or not. And there's not a ton of information on this particular piece by Roger Phelps, but I know that it does show the founders of Cambridge University dining with other guests. And there's kind of a heavenly quality to it with the clouds and angels. So this could be a dinner in the afterlife. Uh, he painted this while attending the Crypt School in Gloucester in the UK. And so the old Cryptons were their rugby team. So it could be the rugby rivals of the Crypt School and Cambridge breaking bread together, which kind of shows the concept of the dinner. And it can not only be celebratory, but it can also aid in conflict and problem solving as well. So there are so many different ways that we celebrate far beyond what I've discussed today. They can be personal to you or your family or your heritage. So I'd love to hear some ways that everyone celebrates in the chat. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Sarah. Celebration. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. You've been, we think of you as Dr. Sarah, art expert, That's right. art historian. So thank you so much. It's just the past hundred art talks have been just incredible. And we're looking forward to continuing the series. So thank you, Sarah. Me too, thank you. Absolutely right.